All right, guys, so this is going to be a super non-scientific, uh, kind of a fun look at the differential probes. Now, we have, we have uh, had differential probes. I've used them forever, and I, I, I used to love them, you know, for high voltage. But I've, I've um, ever since I've, I've um, heard quite a lot about, you know, how this differential probes don't work very well for the real super high switching frequencies that, are, you know, we are dealing with, uh, with this new GAN devices as well as silicon carbide devices so i wanted to kind of test it out um so here it is uh, this is the you know the probe that was lying around so i just used that it's not the best uh probe for this test but i, I think uh, it will show what i want to show yeah so what we're gonna do is we are going to probe this i don't know if you can see this oops um vgs measurement right there so it's a gate measurement on an edge bridge uh, circuit um, this is the same board I used earlier. So um, there are two edge bridge circuits exactly the same. Um, they are not synced, but the schematic is exactly the same. One is with the MMCX connectors, the other one is with the square pin connectors. So I can connect one of these traditional probes on it. Okay. Um, so anyway, I will turn on the circuit and we'll look at the signal. All right. So here it is. Uh, so this is a gate signal. Uh, kind of crappy I guess um, I don't know if you can see the scale on this one it's about 3.5 ish or 3 volts ish I did change the offset on a little bit uh, but I don't think it matters for this uh, test anyways um, let me trigger that for a second and you can see you know it's, it's barely visible what's happening at the input uh, let me change the horizontal scale and see if you can see a Miller plateau here yeah um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it just kind of looks weird. Now, obviously, you know, this is not the best setup, but there's just no way I could have made the connections without doing this. So, um, I guess it is what it is. The, the, the board is so damn small, it's almost impossible to make those connections. So, I had to do it this way. Um, I could wind it, but it still doesn't really help much. Um, but yeah, it, it just kind of looks crappy. Uh, even on the turn off side, I can barely make out anything. Uh, I don't know if I can make out any of the turn on signals and so on. Now, to contrast this with this, uh, you know, optically isolated system, this is a TIVM right here. What I'll do is, um, uh, let me save this waveform, right? So I'll just go to file, let's see it and save as. And we'll just save this waveform right here okay there we go and then we'll recall it so we have it for the all right there we go okay so it's in memory it's behind it what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just gonna turn off this signal right here okay. turn this off okay so what you see is in the memory, right? So I'm gonna turn on this next circuit, which is this guy right here. And we are going to see the VG as the same signal, just on a different, you know, um, different side of the board with the TIVM signal and see how that looks, okay? So let me change the trigger signal from the first one. So that's right here uh, to channel one on my signal. And look at that. How cool is that? All right. So let me change the trigger just a little bit so that you can see. Okay. Oops. Okay. Okay. This is better. All right. Now let's see if I can look at the turn on times. How cool is that? <laughs> it's like night and day, and I, I, you know, that's really what I wanted to show you guys. It's, it's real cool what this probes can do because it's there. They're completely isolated and let me see if I can show you the turn off signal right here. So crisps. Um, they're pretty much set to the same bandwidth. Um, I can barely see it. But um, anyways, y y you get the point, right? The, the problem with this, um, a differential probes like this, yeah, you get the isolation for the high side gates. But one is bandwidth. The bandwidth is just really low. Uh, compared to something like this, which is usually a higher bandwidth, and obviously it has the optical 
isolation which basically gives you really high common mode projection right uh, hence giving you a signal that looks like the yellow one right there uh, there is no filtering on it or anything like that it's just uh, you know exactly same setup on both of them but hopefully that helps uh, just kind of a really quick non-scientific comparison between a differential probe and an ISO view probe um, on a edge bridge circuit. Ciao.